Good morning, guys. Tony back again. Horror in charge. Hope you're all well. Saturday morning here in the UK, really early, 5.30 in the morning. Setting off quite early because I'm actually going to meet some fellow YouTubers um, in the middle of the country in Birmingham. We decided to meet. They've come from all parts of, of the country, some up north, uh, some down south. So, yeah, really looking forward to this. It's going to be awesome, the guys who we're going to meet. I say we decided Birmingham because it's the middle and it's got the biggest HMV in Europe. So we're going to go for a Blu-ray. I've never met any of these guys before. Really looking forward to it. I couldn't sleep last night. I think it'll be a really good day. Uh, so big Paul is going. You'll know him. Jamie Powell, uh, Rob from Rob Effects Bounty, uh, Geordie Paul, uh, Paul from from the, the Magpie movies, and then you got Blu-ray Bullet Brit. Who's a great guy. And I think uh, Jim Jam Movies is coming as well, James. So, yeah, we're all, we're all gathering. And it's going to be a crazy day. And we'll have a look for some Blu-rays and stuff. And just see what's about. Birmingham have a good natter. Yeah, it's just going to be um, an absolute awesome day. Really looking forward to it. So, I had to get up a bit early. Because I've got some commitments from the horses. Those guys came down, I think, some of those on Friday evening. To Birmingham, but I'm only about an hour and 20, hour and 25 minutes away from Birmingham, so I'm not too bad. I know some of those guys had to travel three, four, five hours to get there, but yeah, I'm going to set off this morning and um, go meet the guys and see what's around Birmingham. So I'll take you guys along with me. I hope you enjoy the video. So, guys, there's me driving here, wife taking a shot on the way to Birmingham early morning, quite a nice day. So yeah, here's Big Paul here. I didn't get much footage, guys, because I was that busy talking. Jamie Powell there and Richard Hollyoak. There he is. Uh, into the first HMV in the ball ring. This was a decent size. There's Pete there. Rob from uh, Rob Effects Bounty. And uh, quite a decent selection of Arrow video titles there. Um, some Arrow Academy stuff still there too. Quite a decent section of 4Ks as you can see. Like I say, a decent sized shop. Uh, they had a few 88 films. Um, Big Paulie there and Geordie Paul looking for summer. Uh, the Criterion Collection and 101 films. So quite a few there. There's a few of the lads talking again. Pete, he was a massive guy. Um, there's Jamie again. There's Rob. And then we're off to the vaults. So here's the uh, likely lads. And here's the vaults. So great big massive shop. Everyone vlogging. Like I say, watch all their vlogs, guys. They'll be a lot better than mine. I've only got a bit of footage, but what I have got, you know, I will show you guys. Rob, Pete, here comes Paulie. And um, yeah, we're all waiting to go in here together. Like I would say, great store, absolutely massive as you can see. Great big Chewbacca here. Look at Rob's messing about. Um, some more bits and pieces. 4Ks here. A big 4K section too, with um, some great titles in there. And two for 30s as well. Here's the horror section, which I love. You know that, and there was loads of good stuff in here, guys. Um... Absolutely massive section. Deathgasm there. That's a good um, horror film if you haven't seen it. Like comedy horror. Um, you got like the Hostel. You got the Hereditary Steelbook. The Mandy there as well. Loads of shameless titles. Night of the Living Dead 3 there too. Torso. Another great film. They had a great massive um, world cinema section too. The Blue Ribbon there. Um, massive load of Blu-rays. Biggest section of like world cinema I've ever seen, you know, for for an HMV like. And then Jamie found these pop figures, which were awesome for 49p. It was like scary tales to tell in the dark or something, but really cool find. But there's another scan of the shop. There's all the lads there. We had a really good laugh, as I've said. Brilliant day, and uh, yeah. Keep getting bloody um, P 
Pete and Paul his head in this shot. So we're going to CX now, guys. Really big shop. Not that much in it, but really big shop. Um, really spaced out, you know. See there, Rob and Geordie Paul. Richard Ollie out there too. Jamie's in there first. And there wasn't much in that here. What I um, took my fancy, guys, but really good. So the Rev and there and Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. A few of the guys are having a look up top. Rob with something. Jamie there picking something up. So guys are having a good scan over there. Hagazos are there, Hereditary again. So a few titles, but nothing what interested me very much. And then you had like the collector's edition, so you had all those ones. You had like the Cinema of Conflict, 95 quid. The uh, Alejandro Jodowski set. A load of steel books on this side. So you had Eels of Eyes in there. Fast and Furious steel book. Quite a decent selection. And not badly priced, but you can't see the front of them. And I didn't want to go to the till and make them get them all out. There's a nice Phantasm set there for £45. So that was really good. This is Forbidden Planet, guys. Got a little bit of footage in here. Um few books there nothing special then you got some star wars stuff jamie powell there obviously the teenage mutant ninja turtle stuff and rob they love that <laughs> here's my sort of stuff the horror so we got chucky there you know we've got a few nice bits sam from trick or treat a few friday the 13th um the evil dead necrocom necronomicon 2 book um, a few of those heads and yeah, a few bits and bobs guys so so guys just got back from birmingham what a day awesome i had to rush off uh, a little bit earlier than scheduled because um something cropped up at home but really had an awesome day with the guys it was real laugh um just so surreal all brilliant people all just as you see on the um on the screens on youtube amazing guys uh, really yeah like i say real laugh and just really awesome time one of the best times ever so i'll show you my pickups guys sorry i didn't get much footage too busy nattering and i don't i keep forgetting to whip my phone out but if you follow all these guys like jamie powell big paulie you know uh rob from rob effects bounty uh james from uh jim jam movies pete pete uh blue a bullet brit sorry i always get that mixed up and all, all those sort of guys, uh, Geordie Paul, and then Richard Ollie out come with us, really nice fella. Um, we had a good time, went to HMV Vaults, another HMV in the Ball Ring in Birmingham, and CEX, and Forbidden Planet. So we went round those, I picked up a few bits, and I got um, a couple of surprises off the lads. So when I first got there, went to the hotel, and uh, greeted by Rob Kane. And um, he gave me a package with my name on it, um, all nicely wrapped up, uh, a present basically. I was like, oh, I didn't expect that, mate. Thanks a lot. So I'll show you what he got me. So he does these himself. He prints these himself. This is the Critters 2 extended TV cut that has only ever been aired once, I think, on TV. And he got the... Um, he's done a really good job with this, apparently. So... Yeah, it's an extended version to Critters 2, and he's done a really good job. So you get the soundtrack in there, um, you get like a card, so that's one of nine. So he's probably done nine copies of these. Uh, you get the syndicated television version, and um, Critters 2 bonus disc as well. So he done that for me, mate. Um, really didn't have to, but what a what an awesome, awesome gift. He also done this one for me. And this is uh, the Shudder, Shudder original, so I don't know if it'll be coming out on Blu-ray, and I can't see it. It's um, a television, uh, TV series of Critters, the new bin, a new binge. Now, I've only watched one episode of this, so don't know much about it. Like I say, it isn't on Blu-ray, but um, Rob's done a fantastic job with these again. And you get... Um, Here's the uh, the new binge movie edit, 
and uh, bonus disc so it's the move eh? but it's only a shudder original so really looking forward to that one or well, i've only seen not the first episode sorry the first first like 15 20 minutes so they look good together so i'm really glad of that thank you uh rob and i didn't get you anything today mate i got some of the others some things but you didn't have anything in your hand and i didn't want to push you for anything so i will be sending something in the post for you mate so thanks a lot for your generos generosity uh jamie powell got me this one um don't know nothing about it but it's called tales that witness madness i saw this in um, hmv vaults jamie's like oh i'll get you that mate it's quite interesting it's up my street sort of sleaze fest it's like um, an anthology or something but don't know much about it it's got donald pleasance in it so don't know we shall see so thanks a lot jamie for that one mate then um Big Paul, eh? Paul got me a network release, uh, a network release of this film from 1981. Another Donald Pleasance film, Vincent Price, um, Monster Club. Never seen it before. Look quite strange and weird, but I'm into all that. So really cool. ITV studio. So I don't know if it come out on ITV, but that's the Monster Club. So thanks, Big Paulie, for that, mate. Now, these are my pickups. So I did get a few of the guys something, but uh, Pete and Rob and uh, James and Richard, actually, I didn't get anything for. So because you didn't have anything in the hand. So if you, if you know, give me your address and um, I'll sort something out for you guys to uh, send to you because, you know, I'd, I'd like to do that, but I'll show you what I picked up anyway, guys. So, first one I picked up was The Haunted House of Horror. Don't know much about it. Um, there we go. Sorry about the wind. A British classic, apparently. It's number 138 of 2000. Includes lobby cards, fold out poster, and booklet. So I know Jamie Powell said he had this, he said it's not too bad, it's alright, so I thought I'll give it a try. Then I picked up um, one of the vintage classics from Studio Canal, uh, Circus of Horrors, a Sydney Hayes film. I can't remember this one, so look forward to watching it. I don't think I've seen it, it's a 60s film. It's got an interview there as well, a couple of interviews. So it was quite quite a cool release. Really nice slip cover there. So brand new restoration it claims. So that's uh, the Circus of Horrors. Then I picked up this one. I have I have owned the um, standard edition, but I've never owned the limited edition hard hard box set, limited to two thousand units. And that is a great film from Je Jeff Nichols. Take shelter. This is the nice hard box. I only had the Amore once. I think it's a really good film, underrated. Really strange film, but some great stuff there. You read the back. There's lots of limited edition content there, look, guys. And um, Second Sight do a great job. Brilliant stuff. So I've got that one. I picked up this one because it still had the slip cover. I still need to pick up part one. But I thought I'd pick this one up because it wasn't, it was about 10 99 or something. And that's uh, Black Magic Part 2 with a nice uh, Japanese slip cover. No, you can't read the back properly because of the. But you get the, uh, you get the gist. Really nice slip cover. So, yeah, got that out of the vaults in HMV. And I picked up a, a new one from our video. I think it came out this week. Um, Dinner in America. I don't know if this is like a coming of age comedy. But um, I've seen a few people talking about it. So we'll see what it's like. If it's not for me, I'll um, sell it or give it to someone who will like it. But yeah, not that many uh, special features on this one. But brand new release this. Really nice slip cover. So I thought I'll pick that one up and have a look. Our video release. 
This is a brand new one. I think this came out last Monday too. So a lot of people pick it up. And I love the fact it's not in the yellow shameless. You can, it is in the yellow shameless case, but you've got a nice slip cover. So it's Lucio Fulci's Psychic. The Psychic. Really good film if you haven't seen this one. Um, real sort of creepy atmosphere. Like a, a psychological paranormal, paranormal um, giallo movie. Really good. It's got a 2K scan on this. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces. There we go. Interview. Um, it's 1,560 out of, I think it's 2,000 copies, two or 3,000. But just love the slip on that. Look at that, the artwork. So you get the yellow case inside. I haven't opened it yet, but really glad to pick that up because I think it's one. Of, it's, an un, it's an unknown sort of, it's not one of Fulci's well-known ones, but it's really, really well-delivered and, um, great screenplay and just well put together. I think it's a great film, really polished. That's the psychic. Next one, not the greatest slip in the world, but I do like the film. It's like a coming of age vampire film, this one, and it's um, The Transfiguration. Great film if you haven't seen this one. I say the slip's a bit, a bit beaten up, but. Really cool film, really good atmosphere about this one, quite dark, but um, yeah, really happy with that one, I think it was like 9, 10 quid, something like that. And the last one I picked up, because I'm going mad for my uh, cannibal movies at the minute, let's cover a bit of this up on the back, so it's uh, Man From Deep River. Umberto Lenze, another sort of cannibal movie. Let's block that off. Plus there's lots of nudity and stuff in there. Now I've got a slip cover for this, what Lee Roasted Scores given me, so um that'll go well with this. Really nice one. So loads of stuff on there, loads of special features. Great um cannibal film. So yeah, that was all my pickups, guys. That's all I got today. Like I say, I had to rush off. Um, I'm sorry, guys, but I had a really fantastic day. Loved it with you lot. Um, hope you're having a great time. Um, everyone check out their channels. You know, everyone who subscribes to me knows who these guys are, so watch their vlogs. They'll be a lot better than mine, but I had a fantastic day, and thanks a lot for inviting me. I hope we can do it again one day. And, uh, yeah, I've been Tony, guys. I'll catch you all later. Thanks a lot for watching.